Hello everyone, welcome back to Web Development Solutions. Today in this video, we are going to create a Google login functionality using an NPM package called React Auth Google, which is trusted by more than 66,000 people over there. Okay, let's just quickly get started over here. Let's just copy the code to install it. And if you can see over here, I have installed two packages, which is nothing but NPM uh, React Auth Google, which is for our Google login functionality button, and JWT Decode, which is used to decode the json web token which we get after login successful login in uh, which basically means it when a user clicks on uh, sign with google we will uh, after successful signing in we will get a json encoded token okay to decode it uh, we need a json decode package as i have already installed it you can install it i have provided these commands in the description as well let's just quickly create our code over here let's just remove this basic one, this is a optimized webpack app. Uh, the link will be provided in the description. You can fork it out and create it many, many faster than normal create React app. Okay, let's just copy the code which they are providing here. First one is you have to wrap the Google OAuth provider inside your app. Uh, not inside. You have to wrap Google login inside OAuth provider so that it won't create any error. Uh, here like this import it format the document okay and let us just quickly create our client id as it is asking the client id based on client id it won't provide any of the credentials okay let us quickly create our credentials okay and if you have already created your own client id you can skip this part okay we go to console click on here in the left top click on new project over there and we are going to name it as Google Demo Login. Okay, Demo Login, whatever the name that doesn't matter. Okay, you can provide it any of the name which you like. Uh, in the left top navigation menu, there will be a navigation. Uh, let's just quickly select our project. And here it will be provided. Click on select project, it will be selected. And after that, you have to navigate to navigation menu over the left top and click on api and services click on credentials tab okay after credentials you will navigate to here click on create credentials and click on oauth client id to get a oauth client id we have to configure the consent screen which is provided by the google so that it verifies our app okay and it is loading over there our users are going to be external and app now is going to be demo login app you can provide any of the things click on user support email the, it will provide the email over there you can select okay and uh, all these things are uh, on the production we have or pr the production time we have a detailed video on it you can watch it out in our channel and developer information is going to be unique web dev solutions yp at the rate mail.com click on save and continue over there it will be saved and continue to scopes and it's saved you don't have to change any of the scopes over here click on save and continue click on the test user um test user basically means uh the user which is used to test your uh google login functionality even though you can test with any of the accounts let's just uh, quickly add one of the things okay web solutions yp and you can provide any of the emails you have know that and i'm just adding one of it click on save and continue over here the summary will come after that you have to create navigate to credentials tab over here click on the create credentials and click on auth client id and our application uh, you will navigate to here our application type is web application you, are, you can name it anyone like anything web client on or anything authorized urs are as we are running uh, in the react in the local host you have to provide local host url over there not only 3% is sufficient you have to provide the normal local host like a uh, plain local host as well uh, which basically creates an error if you don't provide it with this npm package okay Authorize redirect urls redirect urls is also same and you can provide it uh, if you want a detailed video, it is there in our channel. You can watch it out there, okay? And click on create over here. It will create a client ID as well as client secret uh, for you, okay? You don't have to share any of the client secret to any of the NPM packages, okay? Uh, 
uh, as I am making a video, uh, it is uh, not that mandatory and it is the temporary one. And okay, uh, that's it. And click on if you copy the client ID over here, click on okay. Even if you have shared it, you can reset your secret key, which will create a new reset key and a reset key. And the previous reset key will be gone, okay. And if here you have to click on create credentials and click on API key, which is uh, use nothing there, nothing else there, okay. Uh, just uh, formalities which you can see. And creating an API key, just close it. If you come to our web app and paste our code over here, which is nothing but a client ID, and if you just quickly save it, you can see. Okay, sign in Google has successfully button has been successfully created. If you click on sign in with Google, okay, you can see over here it's providing us any of the emails. Let's click on any of the one, click on confirm. You can select any of the one, okay. Uh, it's not mandatory that you have to select the uh, test user's account only. Here you can, as you can see over here, uh, we have got an object from uh, the Google team, okay. Uh, this is a token which I am talking in the beginning of the video. This is encoded with JWT. Okay, to decode it, we just have to decode it using the package which we have installed at earlier. Let's just import it over here. Import JWT decode import from JWT open. Uh, and after that you have to provide the credentials which you have got with the response uh, in response of your successful login uh, let us create uh, any of uh, accounts not open details is equal to JWT decode it's gonna take a token string okay which we are getting over here, which is nothing but credentials. These credentials response dot credentials over here. And if you just quickly log it, it's a command we set for log, you can set it over there. No, 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 okay. Details and if you click on save, and if you see our app. You can see over here as we have already logged in once it is showing like this and it is very uh, useful you can create your own using the official uh, git uh, no, not github it is nothing but uh, google uh, officially provided uh, using javascript what is the happen the thing which happens here is once you have logged in the apps uh, the button will be uh, empty it means it will be hidden so we are not using this as we are using npm package okay and if you click on you clear the console, if you click on signing, I'm gonna select another account over here. Okay, just wait, click on another confirm. As you can see over here, this is the app, uh, not app, uh, credentials which you have got from the Google login team. And after decoding, as I have mm, consoled it upwards, coming upwards, as you can see over here, the uh, email is here and the name is here the profile picture is with, is also here this thing for as, as, uh, um, all the details you will get here okay and make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos and if you have any queries related to creating a google login functionality or if you are getting any error make sure to put it down in the comment section and you will get a reply within 24 hours and thank you all for watching this video thank you all